dive in the water's fine. Swim good, enjoy the time. Hey you guys, what is up? And welcome back to a brand new video. I feel like I have so much stuff to say and like my mouth is just like moving quickly. Oh hi Pepper and Mocha, how's it going? As you guys may or may not notice, I'm wearing no eye makeup and that is because today's video I'm going to be testing out some beauty hacks. I've been to this video for like such a long time but I'm just getting to it now. And I don't know, I actually am kind of digging this look of like literally no eye makeup but everything else is done. By the way, pretty much almost every single thing I'm wearing is it cosmetics. This lip color is it cosmetics, brush, bronzer, and highlight, and also eyebrows. Also, I'm wearing this super cute sweater that I just got from the mail. It says, white porch, ocean view, cozy, blanket, and espresso. I don't know, I feel like it's good for lounging around, but like when you also want to look cute with a saying. So yeah, I will have a link down below. All right, so today's video is a collab with Miss Michaela G. So me and Michaela have known each other for a long time here on YouTube. I absolutely love her videos. I feel like her quality is just... Oh my god, I can't even see my hand anymore. Sometimes it honestly looks like a movie and I'm like, how the hell did you do that? And her editing is also awesome, so like I super recommend her channel. She also lives in Vancouver, so holla to Canadians. And she's also going to be showing you guys some beauty hacks, so definitely go to her channel and tell her that I sent you. This next life hack is for baking your face and all you're gonna need is a pressed powder, a beauty sponge, a scraping tool of some sort, and a big fluffy brush. Go ahead and take your scraping tool and just scrape away your pressed powder to create the loose powder effect basically. And then you're gonna take your damp beauty sponge and go ahead and press Also, if you are coming from Michaela's channel, let me know in the comments down below so I can say hi. I also wanted to give a quick mention that I'm having a planner giveaway on my 10 ways to make money video, so I'll have that link down below because I feel like a lot of people don't know about it. So give this video a thumbs up if you have a thumb, and let's get into it. Hey guys, it's just me, like too close for comfort. Let's just maybe do like my right eye. So the first hack we're gonna try out is this like crisscross hatchy thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply an eye primer, and currently I've been using this one by Starlux just because it kind of like neutralizes your veins. So I've seen this smoky eye hack all over Pinterest and I thought that it was like a pretty cool concept and I thought that maybe this could work. So I'm gonna be using this purple eyeliner by Pixie and it's in the shade Deep Plum. I've had this for a while. I really like it, I just haven't really been using it lately. I don't really wanna use purple because it's kind of like an intense color, but I can't find another one. So you're just gonna make a crisscross eye pattern on your eyelid. Okay, this eyeliner is pretty much dried out. This is hard to work with because I don't have a sharpener and like none of my eyeliners are sharpened. But it's okay, looking hot. Now for the next thing. There's one line, now let's do the next one. So on the picture it just says to blend it with your finger, so I guess I will try that. Um, I'm gonna go get a brush. I don't know about this one, you guys. That to me just looks super messy. All right, so I kind of thought I'd be able to wear whatever makeup I was using, but I'm not gonna be able to wear this, so I might as well go all out and use a black on the other eye. Guys, I'm feeling like super Cleopatra right now. I'm not hating it. Let's try to blend this out. Hmm. Mm, no. This is super disappointing. <laughs> I definitely thought I'd be able to like go out to the library and chill after this, but nope. I don't know, it's really weird because I, I genuinely thought that this one was gonna work, but I'm just having a hard time blending everything and I find that when you use eyeshadow, it's lighter. So if you screw up, like it's not so bad, but when you're using this eyeliner, like even though you're blending it out, it can just be so intense and extreme. So I've been seeing the whole use your mascara as eyeliner thing go around, and why not try it? So I'm just gonna get some product on this e.l.f. brush here. All right, we might as well start off with the this one. <laughs> no, I have to say that this brush is actually quite thick, so I feel like this is probably gonna be really messy and it's not gonna be a precise line. Ow, I just kinda poked myself. Oh Lord, no time for the other eye. 
Not my best look. Alright, so my verdict is that I probably shouldn't have used this brush, but I don't have one that's more precise. I think that because this brush is a little bit older, like it's kind of blaring out and stuff like that. I think that this sort of does work, but I can't test to like how long it's going to stay on your eyes. I just don't really see a point in it. I mean, if you're killer at doing gel eyeliner and it's just like your go-to and you have a good brush, I mean, maybe it's just something I don't really foresee people needing to do. next one I'm pretty interested in because it's all about sculpting your brows and that's not something I do like I've never really used the concealer to do that whole kind of look I saw a picture online where they use this NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk oh my god was this ever popular back in the day I cannot find an eyeliner or pencil so I'm just gonna have to like use a brush and literally just you know go for it so funny how I have like this big black stuff on my eye like even if this works it's still gonna look bad Wow, this stuff is actually paler than my skin. So I don't know, maybe if you kind of just blend it in there. So I feel like this one is not a so bad one. I feel like it maybe could work. Concealer would be more natural. I also feel like it's better kind of to do this under the eyebrow because you'll use like a white matte eyeshadow under the eyebrow anyways. I'm pretty pale, so I think on me it doesn't like look as intense, but on someone who isn't like as pale as me, I think it would probably look just way too harsh. Alright, so now for a hair hack, I'm going to try and use this dryer sheet on my hair to see if it will calm down the frizz. So I'm going to try this on this side to see if there's any difference. I've also seen where people like put it on a brush and then comb their hair. So I actually think that this did a decent job, but mainly this side of my hair feels amazing. It feels so soft. Also, it will give you a laundry scent, which I'm actually totally into. Like I like it when people smell like laundry. So it can almost be like a hair perfume. Just gonna do it to the other side, you know, gotta keep it even. If you work out your abs, you gotta work out your back. Guys, I'm into this, and if you were to use a hairbrush with this, I'm sure it would like intensify the effects. It all depends on what kind of hair type you have. Like, I kind of have wavy, so when I brush my hair, it actually doesn't look that good. All right, so the last hack I'm gonna try is using a coffee filter to blot your face, or to wear as a bonnet. Let's do this. These are also from the dollar store, so they might not be the best quality. I just got some more foundation, and that was all over my chin, so you guys know where I put the makeup. So I just went to the mirror to do it in front of the mirror, just to like see it up close, because again, you find her, it's tough. And I would say that it actually semi-works, like it's not that bad. It sort of does do the exact same thing as blotting sheets. Will I use this again? Probably not, just because I don't really use blotting sheets that often. And I guess it would be a little bit weird like pulling out a coffee filter and putting it on your face in public. Alright, and now it is time to reply to comments from the last video. If you want your comment to be featured in the next video, then just leave me a comment down below. DIYs by Ali says, this was such a cute idea. Do you gotta bathe for Valentine's Day? Haha. <laughs> okay. Anthea Dionisu says, I made every single one of them and they tasted so good. Thank you so much. I love you so much. I love you too, girl, and thank you for actually trying out the DIY candy bars. And I'm really happy that you like them. Lastly, Zoe Wynn says, put me on your screen, please. Girl, you got your wish. All right, you guys, that's it. That's all for this video. Do not forget to subscribe and definitely go check out Michaela's channel slash video. All right, you guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.